Now let us discuss about hexadecimal to any other base conversion. Mainly we have four types of number systems are there. First one is binary number system. Binary means base value is 2. A binary number mainly contains two symbols. They are 0 and 1. Second one is octal number system. Octal number system means base value is 8. An octal number system mainly contains 8 symbols from 0 to 7. Third one is decimal number system. Decimal number system means base value is 10. A decimal number system mainly contains 10 symbols from 0 to 9. And the last one is hexadecimal number system. Hexadecimal number system base value is 16. Hexadecimal number mainly contains symbols from 0 to 9 and A to F. A means 10, B means 11, C means 12. So likewise F means 15. It totally contains 16 symbols from 0 to 9 and A to F. So here our target is uh, we want to convert hexadecimal number to binary number. Next hexadecimal to octal number. Third one is hexadecimal to decimal number. So first let's see the first one hexadecimal to binary number. So let us first let us see how we can represent hexadecimal digits with the help of the binary notation. So this is nothing but uh, here we have two columns hexadecimal uh, symbols or hexadecimal digits. Next year in binary notation we use uh, 8421 notation. 8421 notation. So 1 means 2 power 0, 2 means 2 power 1, 4 means 2 power 2, 8 means 2 power 3. So uh, we can have uh, 16 symbols from 0 to 9 and A to F. So 0 means there is no need of 8421, simply all zeros. 1 means we need this one, so we have to place 1 in 1 position, remaining position zeros. So 2 means we have to place 1 in 2 position, remaining position zeros. 3 means sum of 2 and 1, so 0, 0. 4 means we have to place 1 in 4 position, remaining position zeros. So likewise we can represent up to 9. 9 means sum of 8 and 1. So we have to place 1 in 8 and 1 position, remaining position zeros. Next 10, 10 means A, 10 means A. So how to represent 10 now, sum of 8 and 2, 1, 0, 1, 0. Next 11 means B, so how to represent B, sum of 8, 2, 1. So 8, 2, 1, so remaining position 0. C means 12, so how to represent 12, 12 means sum of 8 and 4. So 1100. Next to D means 13. So how to represent 13? Sum of 84. Sum of 84, 1. 84, 1. Next to 14 means E. So how to represent 14? Sum of 842. Next F means 15. So 15 means all ones. So now let us see how we can represent uh, in binary notation. The first problem is b6 5f so this is an hexadecimal number we have to convert this hexadecimal number to the binary number so b means 11 so how to represent 11 sum of 8 to 1 so 1 0 1 0 1 1 next to 6 means 6 means sum of 4 and 2 so in 4 position 2 position we need to place 1 next remaining zeros 0 double 1 0 uh, next 5 means sum of 4 and 1, so sum of 4 and 1, so in 8 position 0, 1 position, uh, 4 position 1, 2 position 0, 4, uh, 1 position 1, so this is nothing but 5, next F means all 1's, so triple 4 1's, F means all 1's, all 1's, okay, so let us see the output here, so this is the binding number, so 1 0 double 1, so next one 0 double 1 0, uh, next one, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. This is nothing but 5. So, all 1s is nothing but F. So, this is the binary number for this uh, hexadecimal number. Now, let us see the second problem. D, A, B dot C, B, 16. So, D means 13. D means 13. So, how to represent 13? Sum of, what is 13? Sum of 8, 4, 1. So, 1, 1, 0, 1. 1101. 
a means 10 so 10 means sum of 8 and 2 so 1 0 1 0 so b means 11 11 means sum of 8 2 1 so 1 0 double 1 8 2 1 c means 12 12 means sum of 8 and 4 so this is the binary equivalent so 1 1 0 1 next uh, 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 next 1 0 1 1 1 dot 1 1 0 0 so this is the binary number for this uh, hexadecimal number so with this hexadecimal to binary conversion is over now let us see the second one that is hexadecimal to octal number so if you want to convert hexadecimal number to octal number first we need to represent that hexadecimal number in binary notation so first we have to represent hexadecimal number in binary notation next to from the binary notation we will get the octal number so what is the first step here hexadecimal to binary so we know how to convert hexadecimal number to the binary here we have digits and this is the binary notation f a c e f a c e f means all ones f means all ones next a means 10 so 1010 1010 next c means 12 so 12 means 1100 next e means 14 so 14 means sum of 842 so that means triple one zero next dot 2 means 0010 so 2 means 0010 next to 5 means 5 means sum of 4 and 1 sum of 4 and 1 so 0 1 0 1 sum of 4 and 1 so 4 and 1 0 1 0 1 okay so this is the binary note binary notation next we have to convert this binary number into the octal number so octal number means uh, we use as 4 to 1 notation so octal means we use as 4 to 1 notation so 0 means all zeros so 1 means 0 0 1 we need to place 1 in the 1 position 2 means 0 1 0 3 means 0 1 1 sum of 2 and 1 4 means 1 double 0 5 means 1 0 1 6 means 1 1 0 7 means all 1 so here uh, here before dot we have to proceed from this rightmost bit to the leftmost bit here if we consider here each octal digit represent 3 bits each octal digit rep represent 3 bits so we have to group 3 bits now so for that purpose before the decimal point we have to group the bits from right to the left whereas after the decimal point we have to group the bits from the left to right okay whereas if we have only uh, if we have only uh, integer part if we don't have fractional part then we need to group from right to left only okay so here this 110 it will become one group uh, next 001 will constitute one group 011 will constitute another group 101 will become one group triple one will become one group here we have only one bit so what we have to do we have to add two more zeros why because each group contains three bits if we add uh, two zeros then the result won't changes next 001 will constitute one group why because we have to proceed from left to right after the dot 001 will constitute one group next here we have only two bits so we need to append one more zero this will be constitute one group so 001 means one triple one means seven one zero one means four two one five zero double one means three three zero zero one means one 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 zero means six dot zero zero one means one zero zero one means one zero one zero means two so this is the octal number for this hexadecimal number so we can't convert directly so first we have to represent that hexadecimal number in binary notation from the binary notation we have to obtain the octal number so what is the result one seven five three one six dot one one two so this is the result now let us see the last problem uh, that is hexadecimal to decimal notation hexadecimal to decimal notation so here uh, a number is given 1a6 1a6 so only integer part is given okay uh, so we have to convert this hexadecimal to decimal number so if you want to convert any number system to decimal number system simply we need to perform the multiplication operation 
So if we want to convert any number system to decimal system, simply we need to perform the multiplication operation. Here what is the source system hexadecimal? Hexadecimal means base value is 16. So with the help of 16, we need to do the multiplication. So 1 a 6. So on top of 6, we have to write 16 power 0. On top of a 16 power 1. On top of 1, 16 power 2. If we have dot here, after dot, if we have some more bits, then we have to write yes, on top of this 16 power minus 1, 16 power minus 2, 16 power minus 3, likewise we need to write. Now we have to multiply these terms and add the result. So 16 power 2 into 1 plus 16 power 1 into a plus 16 power 0 into 6. 16 power 2 means 256, 256 into 1 means 256, 16 power 1 means 16 only, a means 10. So 16 into 10 means 160 plus anything power 0 is equal to 1. So 1 into 6 means 6. So 256 plus 160 means 6, 6 fives are 11, 4. 416 plus 6 means 422. So 422 base. So this is nothing but decimal number, hexadecimal to decimal number. So 422 base 10. So this is the decimal number for this hexadecimal number. So, in this way we can convert hexadecimal number to any other number system.